You're up for four. Comes. Enter the pit. Karate Combat Season 4 is brought to you by Manscaped, the right tools for the job. Use code KC20 for 20% off. Just log on to manscaped.com and enter the code KC20 at checkout. Your referee for this contest is Mark Goddard. Black pants for Amira Molina, white pants for Ana Luisa Ferreira da Silva. Both in the closed stance right now, feeling each other out. You got Ferreira throwing that jab out there. And Molina, oh, good oh. low calf kick yeah, from Mel Molina. Molina measuring with that lead hand, looking for that vicious reverse punch with the backhand. Yeah, she connected with the kick and then the cross also. It can happen go, anytime. Yeah. There it is, there's that right hand. Guys, I've got to ask, so often we, we wonder if women carry the knockout power that some of the heavier men do. And we know in Myra Molina's case, that is an unusual weapon in the women's division. Oh yeah, that right hand, it, every time I watch it, it hurts me. <laughs> Obviously, you know, you see Ferreira keeping that high guard because she knows Molina's got that power in that right hand. There it is again. Man, she's finding it very well. Her distance is awesome, using that jab to set it up. Great, and also, you know, the, she, moving backwards to stay just outside the reach is doing what she said she was going to do. Yeah, that was one of the things that Molina said to her. She knew her opponent, uh, Ana Luisa, was very good fighting in close, and she wanted to try and stay outside of that to frustrate her. Yeah, there, her opponent. Connected with a shot as well. Ferreira wants, she says she wants to step in close, but Molina's using that jab to keep her at bay and control, like you said, controlling the distance. Look for another back leg low calf kick from Molina. She's been branding it like she's landed a few of them so far in this first round. Good hooks. Oh, from, yeah, good hooks wow. from the Brazilian there. It's all South American clash here at Karate Combat. Nice jump, stepped in a little too deep for the cross. Oh, tussling, and it's, well, no shots allowed from that downed position. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be standing or one knee on your opponent. Do not mount and push. Oh, straight with the not pit bull brush, can't blame that. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah, a bit of MMA uh, creeping in to Ana Luisa there. Minute left on the clock in this opening round. Not a whole lot of movement from both of them. They're kind of just standing in front of each other. Yep, only four and backwards. There's that calf kick again. That's gonna, you're gonna feel that later on in those second and third rounds for sure. I was set it up, cross hook kick. It looks like Ferreira's keeping a high guard to take Molina's punch and then trying to counter it, right? Yes. She wants to take it and counter with that right or left hook. She said she would look to try and swerve that incoming strike and counter. Good spinning back fist there though. You gotta say, uh, Wonderboy, both these women keeping their, their guard nice, high, and, and uh, present. They have to. You're, you're seeing a lot of hands from these guys, but not a whole lot of kicks. I mean, except for that low calf kick. Oh, good shots there from both. Yeah, that, that, that left hook from uh, Ana Luisa ripped across the nose of Molina. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yeah, she got her up. The warrior comes forward, yes. I love it. So first round in the books here. Let's take a look at some of the replays. Guys, talk us through uh, these, starting with this uh, low calf kick. You have Ferreira keeping that high guard, doing well deflecting Molina's right hand, but you got a jab cross. She's Ooh, doing very beautiful. well, blocking her right hand and countering with that left hook. Yeah, a dead kick deliver with the shin, you know, if that muscle is relaxed, that's going to, like you said, Stephen, hurt in the later rounds. So who's been more effective so far? Is it the straighter, rangier shots of Amara Molina or those nasty short hooks from Ana Luisa? Yeah, it's a hard one because uh, Molina landed a few big shots, but then again, Luisa, she, she landed some hooks. Yeah, it that's seems right. fairly even right now. Yeah, I like the fainting also oh, that yeah. Molina is doing. We never saw her do that before. Oh, oh, she needs I to keep those, la those low calf kicks going. That's going to slow down Ferreira. Well, let's see if they heed your advice. Second round underway here. Three minutes on the clock. It's women's bantamweight bout. Now she's backing up. Yeah, right. Beautiful. Just outside the range. Outside good takedown. Yeah. Yeah, good catch of the kick. <laughs> and a takedown. Almost swept back, though. 
I love the feints from Alina. Yep. She's got to do more of it. She's got to get her body more involved to get a reaction out of Ferreira. Yeah, she sometimes you got to exaggerate a little bit in oh, order yeah. to let him feel it. But even if not, you got to keep that jab pumping. You can't just keep feinting. You got to faint, faint, then throw the jab. Now they're throwing some heat. Now the lady's getting stuck in here. Big shots. Melina continuing to press forward, but Ana Luisa very much firing back. Yeah, I think the, the, the coaching change for Molina has been really well. It's good for her. Yeah, she I said mean, to us straight and strong. Yeah, she said to us that everything's better. She's in better shape than she felt she's ever been before. And that's a huge high kick. Hits the guard. You got leather mesh countering. She's doing great stuff right now. Back fist there by the Luisa Ferreira da Silva. I just wanted to say that one time. <laughs> and that was, you know, that was good work from De Silva to lean back and yeah. just, just uh, slide away from that one. Got to okay. fade back, that's right. Oh, there's another high kick, barely missed. But now she's putting everything together this round, Molina. Boom, 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 body head, head. Molina looking to uh, a bit of pinning and punching there, perhaps. She's got a nice little mouse over and right under her right eye. Yeah, she's, she's trying to land that reverse punch again, but Ferreira knows not to just uh, come straight into it. She's landing a good hook on the way in. Yep, got to watch out with the single kick again. About a minute left here in the second round. And that was a nice sequence from the Venezuelan. Front kick, jab, cross. There's the takedown. Lovely takedown. Accidental grab of the guard. Okay, look, look, look. There we go. It's back. We ready to rock now. Turn around. She's doing a great job with those catches of the catch of the kicks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, those body kicks. She's catching, sweeping. What can, uh, what can Melina do to, to sort of stop that happening, to, to stop the kick getting caught? She's going to have to, she, she needs to fade up the kick as well. She's doing well with her hands, but she's not doing so well with her, with her kicks. And okay. be able to mix it up. Calm yourself, Dane. Calm yourself. You hold, uh. <laughs> you hold the clothing one more time, I'm going to take a point. You understand? No more. So our referee Mark Goddard is saying no more grabbing of the clothing for Amira Molina. He did have words with Luis Rocha, one of our uh, Karate Combat champions, who's pit side cornering here. Yeah, it's more ice hockey. Oh! And that is a late blow. I have a feeling Mark Goddard's going to take a point here. Point, point, point. One point deducted, point. and you can see the disappointment on the face of, Anna, of uh, Amira Molina. And guys, we'll talk about the replays in a minute. Do you think that's gonna light a bit of a fire under her? Oh, 100%. I think <laughs> out of both fighters, if I were to get hit after the bell, that's gonna light me up. Let's take a look at some of the replays from that second round. A lot to talk through. That was some of the good work from both ladies. Molina pressing forward here. Oh, that was a nice left hook there. And another one coming over the top. And Here's it's... the shot after the bell, and that was a clean straight right. Oof, yeah. Yeah, put it out of your mind. Don't start thinking about it. Just focus on the last round. Third round. Now it's time to see which fighter is going to adapt for the third round. Who's going to bring it? Okay, well, give it. Give me your uh, give me your thoughts real quickly. What's the adaptation that they're going to make here? Well, I think Molina has definitely got a pressure now that she got a point taken away. She wants to see her pick it up, really pick it up this round. Nice For, Ferreira needs to use that to her advantage. She knows she's going to come in and she needs to counter Molina. Big calf kick there by Molina. Molina putting some whip into that one, just a little bit uh, off on the range. Anna, uh, Ana Luisa, a Brazilian military police officer in her day job. Yeah. Melina's doing very well, using her strengths and backing out before her pony can land hers. So her distance management is really good right now. Yeah, she changed that 
dramatically. It's really nice. Yeah, a lot of feints again from Molina, but not drawing Luis. Uh, and the Luis are in all that easily. Good shots there, though. Big shot to the body. Ooh. There's a high kick, and the Yoko kid is Stephen Thompson kick. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely catch of the kick, though, really cradling up that foot. Minute okay. and a half. Oh, well, the left hook again. She is landing that right hand at will. Basi, happy to see a dig to the body a bit now as well. It would be great that we saw Molina do it in round number two. She went with a jab to the body and across on top, and I like to see that stuff more. There's the grab, there's the takedown. Expert catch of the kick and sweeping the leg, and you can see Molina trying to dive back up and earn herself some top position for that five seconds of ground and pound. Oh, that's a big right hand. Nice one. Molina is finding her range. You can see some damage on the under the right oh, again. of the Brazilian. Eats another one. Almost at will. There again. Yeah, a minute left here. That right hand is there every time. Making the left up a good right hand. Now Ooh, she's got Ferreira in a box. Oh, yeah. Now she's got Ferreira in a box. She needs to take that leg up high. Ferreira perhaps dying down a little bit here in the closing minute. There we go. It's right Melina there. landing a lot of volume. Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. Here comes the pressure. Molina looking for the kill. This is where you know this is this is this is it. You got your point. You got a point taken away. You got to go and try and finish. And she's coming. Yeah, she's definitely pressing forward. We got 15 seconds here. Who's going to get one final attack in? Ten seconds left. Here we go. Now we're going. Nice. And the crowd on their feet here for the two ladies. Oof, with the point of deduction, guys, what this is going to be. Man. Anna Ferreira taking a lap around the pit. She thinks she's done enough. For Myra Molina, probably confident, but as you say, with that point, you just don't know. You don't, you don't, you really don't. But I I do feel like she pulled off that third round. I don't but, know. Yeah, I don't know if it's enough, like I said, to get the W because of that point taken away. But Replays awesome. here for that third and final round. I mean, you know, mathematically, we could end up with a draw. Yes. Both connecting here. Let's see some big shots. Boom. There's that right hand. Every time she's landing it, and especially in the last round. This was the flurry at the very end. Now they're going to go to town. They really did get stuck into each other <laughs> as that fight progressed. That was an awesome fight. I loved it. I want to see a fourth round. Yeah, I mean, there, you know, for those folks at home, there, there is a mechanism in place in the karate combat rules that can trigger a fourth round. It's uh, under the conditions that no determination can be made by the judges oh. because the fight this is so be. close. And yeah. this yep. looks like that's what it's going to be. We're going to go oh. to a fourth I round knew here. It. I knew it. Reset button, and now whoever wins this round is going to be the winner. I should stress, this doesn't happen all that often. We've only seen it three times before in the history of karate combat. They heard that I wanted to see a fourth, and they made it happen. Oh, just Thank for, you, Steven. Just for you, Wonderboy. <laughs> right, so, guys, you've got to reset. You've got to take a breath. Who's mentally in this game still? This is what it takes. This is this is the spirit round. When you think it's over, right? You have that adrenaline dump. You know, you're excited that the fight's over, and now you're listening. You're, you're hearing the ref say, "We got to go another round." It's all about spirit. Man. Yep. Well, let's see who's going to have more spirit. We're getting a look in the corner of Amara Molina, and with that point deduction, all of a sudden, that means a whole lot less. Yeah. That that, that was the whole reason we're in this uh, predicament right now. She is. In this particular. Well, Anna Ferreira did look as though the fatigue was setting in a little round. bit in that third round. Oh, the crowd very appreciative that we got another yeah. three minutes on the clock here. Here we go, baby. Fourth round, digging deep.
Hope you guys at home are enjoying all the festivities here at Karate Combat. Molina straight back to work with that straight shot. I would love to see the hands and feet combination. Not just the hands, not just the feet, exactly. put them together. That's it. Boom. Let's set that up. With a punch combination. Ferreira's gonna have to pressure for it. She's gonna have to throw something. The, the, the pit control from Molina, I think she can win that on that alone. Constant pressure. Yeah, Molina has really been... Oh, that was nice. beautiful. Back right hand. She's really been trying to make her case for a shot at that golden belt. A win here would make her 4-0 undefeated. It's hard to deny her the opportunity following that. Oh, there we go. The pressure. The oh, the low calf kicks from Molina. I think she's taking it away at this point. Good body kick. Smart also to do it in this round. And fatigue kicks in. And these are the rounds that you see the cardio level, right? Yep. You see the cardio Who's the fresher fighter? Minute 30 on the clock here, halfway through this fourth and final round. Again, that straight right, just finding the mark. Every time Ferreira steps in, she, Molina's Whoa. landing that right hand. Yeah, Molina eating a shot there, though, as she closed the distance. Did throw another good low calf kick in. Yeah, the biggest weapon from Ferreira is the, the left hook. I oh, would yeah. really watch out if I was Molina. Oh, anything you could do, I could do better. Monkey see, monkey do. It's funny uh, how that goes, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Into the final minute here. Ooh, nice. High kick from Ferreira. Landed. Good right hand from Molina. Back and forth. Yeah, time is ticking away here. Still all to play for. Somebody can absolutely land something substantial that flips this fight on its head with 35 seconds left. Oh, Ooh, nice little watch. kick there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta watch out. Shin on shin, that's not a good thing. We've seen that happen before in the past and that go well. Yep. Bold spring. Trying to kick all the way across to the open side of the far leg. There's the right hand again from Molina. Well, uh, Luis, uh, Luisa. Yeah, she's firing. They're both laying into these punches. Ten seconds left. They're gonna slug it out one more time. Okay, here Immediately we re engaging. <laughs> Fists are flying. <laughs> Again. And once more, they both feel they have done enough to earn the victory here. I do believe that was Molina's round. I believe so too. Well, it's uh, unanimous from Bas Rudin and Wonderboy Stephen Thompson in the booth here that Omar Molina did enough in that fourth round. Let's take a look at some of the replays from that fourth and final sudden death round. The spins. Well, let's see the brawl at the end. As soon as you hear that 10-second clap, this is where they go all out. Yeah, going for it right till the end of the bell. Well, they're bouncing around here like they might have a fifth. But I can assure <laughs> you, I can assure you that I'm is not that. going to happen. We're going to get a judge's decision here. Anxious moments for both these ladies. Is Omara Molina going to improve her undefeated karate combat record to 4 0? Or is Ana Luisa Ferreira da Silva going to put herself back to 50 50, rebounding from that decision loss last time out? Let's go ahead, get the official decision. Your winner in the red corner. Yep. Omaira Molina! Well, the judges agreeing with you two fine folks sitting next to me. Omaira Molina, your winner by unanimous decision, the Venezuelan.